Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, you may want to subscribe because we're always talking about leisure travel vans, gear, gadgets, RVs, and travel in general. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up if you can. Appreciate that. And now then, we are going to be talking today about the Airstream Atlas and how it compares to a leisure travel van, Unity. As you know, Unities and Wonders at the leisure travel vans, they have a wait time of one, two, even three years. So should you be starting to look at other brands to, if you really want to jump into the RV world uh, immediately. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that all of the RV brands probably have wait times right now. Probably impossible to get one immediately. However, we are today we are going to look at that. Maybe you want to get a Winnebago Navion. Maybe you want to look at a Tiffin Wayfair. Or like today, we are looking at the Airstream Atlas. Seeing how it compares with the Leisure Travel Van Unity. They're both on the Mercedes-Benz 3500 chassis. So let's jump over on the websites and just start comparing and see where it ends up. at leisurevans.com and airstream.com. Again, we are comparing the Unity to the Atlas. We cannot compare the Wonder because it is on the Ford Transit chassis. The Unity and the Atlas both share a uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis. So exact same chassis, the 3500 with a three liter diesel in it. Now Airstream does some little few things better than Leisure Travel Vans does when it comes to the suspension. And we'll get into that in just a moment. So I think the biggest thing we're going to want to see is, is why right here, why doesn't Airstream automatically add $100,000 to the price tag? Uh, my guess has a lot to do with the name Airstream. So, but let's get into it. So I'm going to, uh, open this browser up. Let's scroll around here and look at this real quick. Uh, basically just like leisure travel van due to high demand, it is going to be a little bit longer if you want to order an Airstream Atlas, but let's take a look and see the first thing that really stick out is floor plan. That's right. There's no S right here. There's no S on the back of this plan one floor plan, which is basically the Murphy suite. And as you can see, it looks like it basically mimics exactly um, the, the the Leisure Travel Van uh, Murphy bed option. So, so you can see there, TV that pops up. Uh, of course, the seats turn around with the little tables there. Then the Murphy bed pops down like that. So you can see it's got the classic Airstream um, aluminum roof here. And uh, also their venting is obviously more expensive than the plastic that Leisure Travel Van gives you. $100,000 worth. Not in my book so far. As you can see, just a little few of the things here. As you can see, the, um, the, the what do they call those, a porthole that Airstream uses here. Um, but basically, very similar to a Leisure Travel Van. Same kind of modern Euro shape design here. Um, and so let's jump in and see some of the other differences. So the kitchen, the galley, uh, basically same exact setup. I mean, looks different. Their handles are a little bit different here then, but it's still a, a propane two burner stove. Uh, or actually is that, if that's two burner, I believe the, the leisure travel van has three. Mine has, I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember if mine is two or three. We'll look at that here in a moment. A little pop-up thing. I do believe that the Leisure Travel Van has that too. One thing that I noticed is it does look like this refrigerator is different um, because the Leisure Travel Van uses that Dometic three-way. So we're going to check and see exactly what that refrigerator is. So, But very, very similar. Then we jump into the bathroom. Yeah, so oh, same exact shower. Probably lights up back here, just like the Leisure Travel Van. Um, the curvature of the doors. But the one thing you'll notice, it does not have a skylight. So this bathroom is going to be plenty dark um, whenever you are in there with the, the, uh, the door closed. And so that is one thing I do love about my Leisure Travel Van. And even the Murphy beds, they do have that triangular um, uh, sunlight right here, or skylight, um, which brings an incredible amount of light, which I love. So yeah, so bathroom looks basically exactly the same. So let's just call this very comparatively. The only thing that I can see is this is 24 feet 
A leisure travel van is 24 feet, nine inches. So you get an extra little bit back here with a leisure travel van. So let's see, it says discover the best in luxury. I mean, Airstreams are definitely known for their luxury. So let's jump into features real quick. Let's see what features they have. Well, as you can see this up here, I mean, this is going to be exactly the same as a leisure travel van. This is the Mercedes Benz portion of it. And I'm sure they add all of the safety features in, such as adaptive cruise control, electronic steering, the automatic wipers, everything that you, that you can get on a chassis option, uh, you're going to get on the Airstream, I would imagine. Um, I know the leisure travel vans have all of that good stuff, and I wouldn't want to live without it. So I do love it. So as we can see, here's a, a video. I'm not going to jump into that real quick, but a power slide out Murphy suite. So looks like it is power, whereas a leisure travel van, it is powered by humans, meaning you have to unhook the latches and let the thing down by yourself. This looks like it does it automatically. Now that's going to be good if you have mobility issues. So, but it's also, it's going to be bad if it breaks. So, you know, that's, that's up in the air of which, which wins in that. All right, Hideaway Samsung Smart TV. So they're using a name brand television there. We'll look and see what the Murphy bed has. I don't recall. I know my FX, something like it's a Connex. It's an off-brand television, but it works. And uh, you can't tell the difference if you don't know the name brand of it. And of course, residential style bedroom. So now then, here are the five luxurious ultra, uh, luxurious color combinations. So modern Grige, is that what this is called? So as you can see, this is what that looks like there. Oh, Tommy Bahama. Guarantee that's going to set you back a little bit. Probably a ten to $20,000 premium, I would imagine, as far as an upgrade goes with Tommy Bahama. Then Refined Brown. As you notice, that it, they really only have um, the couch. With the Leisure Travel Van, you do get the option of having a Leisure Lounge, which is two recliners. Um, or you can also get the same couch that are in the FX. And then here's Lux White. As you can see, it's really dark colored interior. Then Formal Black. Boy, if that doesn't make you claustrophobic, I don't know what does. Uh, and then back to this. So looks like the Tommy Bahama, if you want a lighter color wood, it looks like you have to jump into a Tommy Bahama, which again, it's going to set you back for that name brand on there. Of course, this is going to tell you all about the Mercedes-Benz. It is the exact same thing. I can't imagine they do anything different um, than Leisure Travel Vans. Now, here's a premium, definitely. They call it premium air ride suspension that the Leisure Travel Van does not have. So premium air ride suspension, that probably is a game changer. Is it worth $100,000 over a leisure travel van? No, because you could actually go and get a air ride suspension um, installed on your leisure travel van for much less than $100,000. All right, extra sleeping space with cockpit bed. So let's take a look at that. What is that all about? Because now leisure travel van actually offers something similar to where they actually sell a mattress. Uh, apologize, this is going a little slow here. There it is. Oh, yeah, that looks kind of ridiculous. And look at that, $1,100. Good grief. All right, so then let's see. This is everything it looks like that it comes with um, the leisure travel van. Now, some of this is going to be optional. So at the end of this, we're actually going to build a comparative um, leisure travel van MB model to see exactly how they stack up. So premium power system. So looks like they offer lithium batteries standard with solar. Okay, so we'll have to add that onto our leisure travel van to see what our price comes up to. So um, yeah. Lithium is standard on the Airstream. High-end kitchen, okay, that's same as a leisure travel van. Power stabilizer jacks, okay, LTV does not have this. This looks like it is standard. So, but what does a leisure travel van have? Well, they have the optional leveling system, which is going to be better than stabilizer, unless it breaks. As long as it works, it's better. All right, 
and then it comes standard with a diesel generator. All right, which that is an option for the leisure travel van. And then an awning. Of course, that is what's holding up all of the leisure travel vans right now are the awnings I hear. Um, and then connected ready. Don't know what that is. Aha, another thing, dedicated camera monitor. So they have a, from the factory, an always on camera in place of a rear view mirror. Is it worth $100,000, you have to ask yourself? Or do you go and spend $1,700, 2000 bucks and get your own installed? But it is nice that it comes direct from the factory. All right, um, of course, cross traffic, parking, braking, blind spot, lane, keep, and more. That all comes standard with a leisure travel van as well. Automatic entry step. Yep. Climate control, ducted air conditioning. Yes, the, the Unity has ducted air conditioning. So it just looks like they're, obviously their vents are made out of aluminum, a little more classy than the plastic that your travel van gives you. Now then, here's a Froley system, which this is good for making sure that your mattress does not mildew, which I don't know how big of a deal this is since it's a Murphy bed and the mattress actually is standing up 99% of its lifetime. So I don't know how important that is. Froley systems are nice, especially if you have an RV that has an always down bed because it's going to allow airflow through underneath your mattress and stop your mildew. Now, power sunroof with screen. It looks like this is the exact same type of um, uh, skylight that the Leisure Travel Van has, but it says it's power, assuming it opens up on power. Again, awesome as long as it works. If it doesn't work, then no bueno. Obviously, with a Leisure Travel Van, it is pretty easy to open that up. Again, are these uh, are these standard features and upgrades to what Leisure offers? Is it worth $100,000? All right. So that looks like that is everything that it comes with. Okay. Oh, let's jump over here in specs and see what this is all about. All right. Microwave, chassis, everything the same, the same, the same, the same. I'm sure I'm, you know what? That's interesting. I don't know what the axle ratio is. I'm going to see if Leisure shows that. All right, um, let's see where we're going to get down. So it's got a 15,250 pound. I mean, that is going to be exactly like Leisure Travel Vans just because it's the same chassis. Question is, what is its um, OCCC, your, uh, what you can carry in it, how much? So tow capacity up to 5,000 pounds is actually a lie because of gross vehicle weight rating. That 5,000 pounds, that only means what your hitch can handle, not what the actual um, motorhome can handle, because it can only handle about 4,200 pounds. Then we have got, oh, it is 24.9. So they say it's the same as leisure travel vans. I stand corrected. It's a 25, I don't know why they wouldn't put that on the on the main page. It says 24 foot. I don't know if they're trying to sell size, which uh, I would rather have that nine inches, right? Okay, overall height. About the same as the Leisure Travel Vans. About, I think ours is, yeah, I think ours is 10.9 maybe. Overall width, of course, is going to be the same. All right, right here I can see this is a negative. Only 20 gallons of fresh. The MB, we're going to see here in a minute, but it is going to have a minimum of 24. And then 31 gray, 27 black. Interesting. This is also smaller. Propane. This is the same because it's Mercedes. This is the same because of it's. Uh, it looks like they use the same thing, maybe a different brand, but it's basically the same thing. Oh, they do have heated tanks. Interesting. All right. And then the water heater. Not sure if it's a Truma or not. Doesn't say. Okay, they only have a 1,000 watt pure sign uh, inverter, which is strange because they give you lithium batteries. 1,000 watt isn't going to do much of anything. It's going to barely run the microwave if even at all. Okay. Um, and then 400 watts of solar. So we'll have to add that on whenever we look at building our leisure travel van. Now they give you an extra year. That leisure travel van does not. They give you three years, 36,000 miles. So um, looks like leisure travel vans gives you two years. Good grief. So is that worth $100,000? Not for me. 
Okay, so now we are on both systems here. So we are going to jump in. We are going to build. So let's see about building. Let's build our own here. All right. And then let's build our own here. And let's compare price when it comes to the leisure travel van versus the Airstream Atlas. All right, we're going to jump on here. Here is the Murphy bed. Starts at $157,000. We're going to build our Atlas starting at $260,000, 100, $2,500 it looks like, so $102,000 more. So if we begin on here, oh, we only get one color to choose from. Well, that's not very fun. So let's see. Let's jump on here. Let's go in here and see what this does for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight colors to choose from one over here for a hundred thousand dollars more i want about 50 color options or just tell them i want swirls or whatever i wouldn't really want swirls but for a hundred thousand dollars you could should be able to tell them you want what you want well i'm a blue guy um and now it's atlantic blue i have an fx uh that is called denim which is actually now this is white and mine is silver same as that Okay, so we've chosen that. That's all we get, silver and black. Okay, interior decor. So you get four options. I don't see the Tommy Bahama on there, so that's interesting. Okay, so now let's choose. Um, let's see. I mean, all of this is kind of claustrophobic, right? Let's just go with Lux White, since that's going to give you a little bit of brightness in there. Okay. But first, what we get to do with Leader Travel Van, we get to choose our cabinetry, which you do not get to choose, I guess. So if you look at that, um, that is Natural Rift, Cashmere, Espresso, which is the closest to basically all of theirs, and then the, the Maple. And then the Maple is really light. If it was going to be me, I would probably choose Natural Rift. Okay. So with that, then whatever cabinetry you choose here over on Airstream is you're stuck with your color of your seating and stuff. With the Leisure Travel Van, you get to, um, well, you do get to choose a Fenix. I like the Fenix, so I have that in mind. Countertops, you get to choose countertops, either white, which is Antarctic, or concrete, which is a little bit of a gray. We'll go with Antarctic. And now you get to choose the color of, you get three choices Whereas you get no choices over here. It is what it is. So this is mountain, fog, and earth. Earth is a little bit of a brown. Fog is white, basically like that. And then, of course, mountain is a gray. Okay, let's choose fog just to kind of keep it same old, same old. Now we jump into the options. So let's jump over here. Here's uh, where maybe their options are. Doesn't say what's next. All right, so you get your floor plan. You only get one floor plan. Well, with the Unity, you get, what, five, six? All right, um, only one option, that bed system, $1,150, and you are at 260 Now, it did not give me the option to add that Tommy Bahama in, which is interesting because I bet that was twenty grand if I was guessing. So now we've got to jump on, and we've, we're just going to add everything in that Airstream gives us. I'm sure they've got chrome wheels, you know. Uh, don't know if they have a ladder. We'll keep that off for right now. Uh, diesel generator is what they give standard. Um, they do not offer leveling jacks. They only had the stabilizers, so we are not going to add that. Uh, they have no leisure lounge, so we're not going to add that. They did give lithium as standard, so we are going to do that. Now, one thing you're going to get with this is you're going to get a 2,000-watt inverter rather than the 1,000 with the Airstream. All right, and then a macerator. It didn't say, so I'm not going to add it. It's $900 now. Wow, everything's gone up. It did come with a key, um, remote key, and then it did have tables. Don't know about a safe. Won't add that. Don't know about satellite dish. Won't add that. It had 400 watts of solar. So right there, it looks like we have the same exact build, Murphy bed build. As you can see, this floor plan is basically the exact same as that Airstream, but without being claustrophobic, in my opinion. And there we are. 
177,954. With this guy, 260, 260. So as you can see, that is a huge, huge difference. So the question is, which one would you choose? Would you spend $100,000 to have Airstream up here instead of Leisure? Not me. Leisure is a better brand in my opinion. The community is bigger and stronger. The company is awesome. I love them. They, everybody I've talked to there have been incredible people. Sure, they are at Airstream as well. But I am completely happy with my Leisure Travel Van. Well, that is amazing. $100,000 more. I can't even imagine the Leisure Travel Van to me is worth $100,000 more than it. So I'm sticking with the Leisure Travel Van. Now then, I appreciate you uh, joining us today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you can. That really helps the algorithm and people discovering this channel. I really appreciate that. But hey, and also don't forget every Wednesday, I'm going to attempt to upload a visual version of our podcast, which is chock full of hopeful good information for you. Uh, my partner Ben at Pagosa Supply Co., who is not an RVer, is asking all kinds of questions that, you know, I was asking several years ago. And so it is fantastic information, especially if you're jumping into the RV world now for the very first time. Anyway, that's it, and we'll see you next time.